All right, here we are at our 2018 Sweetwater 2386 rental fleet pontoon number three for this particular fleet that we've got for sale. We've just got a few more units of these left to go. And uh, we went ahead and uh, basically everything's turned on for this as far as the navigation lights and the docking lights go. So this is kind of how we do our function testing. So on this one, we do have it working. Uh, that's going to be your starboard side navigation light. Docking light on the starboard side does not function. The port side docking light does function. And the port side navigation light does not. Now typically we're going to check for loose wires and things like that whenever we see something not working. So we, we have done that. Um, probably going to need uh, to be bulbs or replaced. No, those aren't high dollar replacement parts either. So um, we'll go ahead and walk on over to the back and I'll show you we have the anchor light turned on. That's the also referred to as a 360 light. And that is what you want on if you're out in the open water in the evenings and you're parked. Um, obviously, if you're operating and you're moving, then you, um, all three of those are going to be running, your navigation lights or your running lights. We've also got a working uh, courtesy light. You can kind of see it there, right there under the helm. We'll show you that here whenever we start uh, going around everything. But do like to remind everyone to find the current asking price of this one. You will want to check out our website, which is yournewboat.com or www.yournewboat.com. Now, for your convenience, there will be a direct link to this listing down in the video description of this one. So when you're watching this at YouTube, um, you've got um, a few different options to see all of our inventory. If you're interested in this particular model, you want to see what the price is, or you have any questions on it, we don't monitor the YouTube comment page. So you'll want to use that link. And now for your convenience, if you scroll down that video description, there'll be a direct link to this listing that you can either click on or copy and paste into a browser. That'll take you right to the page just for this um, pontoon number three. See the asking price, all of our contact informa information, as well as all the specs on it. Um, and all the options, features, things like that. I would do like to remind you if you send us an email, keep in mind that our replies for some reason usually end up in everybody's spam folder. So if it's been more than a business day, you have not gotten an email reply, check your spam folder. Um, we usually are good about getting replies back out to everyone in just a few hours. And if you call us on the phone, you get our voicemail and you want to return a phone call, all you gotta do is just leave us a message. Um, if you let, leave us a detailed message, let us know which listing you're looking at, what questions you have. Keep in mind, Norris Lake is a beautiful area with 23 marinas and over 850 miles of shoreline. And unfortunately for us, not all of those shoreline miles and all of those marinas are in areas with cell phone reception. So um, if you don't leave a message, we will not know that you called. Um, but if you do take time, leave us a message. We will get back to you either when we finish with the customer or as soon as we get back into uh, cell phone range. So keep those things in mind when you are reaching out to us with any questions. Also, while you're on YouTube, if you go directly to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash your new boat, you're going to see two playlists. There's going to be a playlist for current listings. That's all the boats that are, are currently available for purchase. And then we've got a sold boat playlist. And we leave this old boat playlist there. Um, and we leave our sold inventory up. We do change the titles once they do sell so that everybody knows that they're sold. But we leave those up for reference because a lot of these uh, boat models are are similar and you know, they, they didn't, Sweetwater didn't just make one 2385 uh, pontoon boat. So we leave those just as a helpful resource for anybody else that's shopping for a similar make, year, or model. So they can um, see the layouts of them and see some of the features of them. So here at our helm station, we do have a uh, swivel driver, excuse me, a swivel driver seat with uh, two armrests. This one is rated for 13. We've got four cup holders. All of them are right here at your base of your, uh, your driver's helm station. You've got cup holder right there. You've got two right here. And your fourth is right here. So this one's uh, basically a 23 feet on deck, um, eight and a half feet wide. And it's about a 20, it's going to be about a 24 to 25 foot LOA. LOA is your length overall. Now, if you count for your motor extending off the back of that, it's going to be a little bit longer than that as well. So we do have a uh, functioning hour meter on this one, digital hour meter. It's integrated in this tachometer right here, and this one's currently reading 1,254.5 engine hours. We uh, we typically are going to round those up. We'll call it uh, at least 255. We might round it up a little bit higher than that. We do have a uh, working fuel gauge, battery voltmeter, 
Um, here's your speedometer and here's your engine drive trim gauge. Now you saw those docking lights turned on. I'm going to turn those off now. And that courtesy light, in case you didn't catch it from a distance, that is that light right there kind of underneath your driver's helm. And we'll turn those navigation uh, lights off as well. The, the horn does not function on this one. And, um, and of course I called your attention to the, uh, to the nav light and the docking light that was out. Uh, we do have a functioning stereo. This is a uh, AM FM. AM FM um, auxiliary input Bluetooth stereo. We've got two speakers and both of those did pass function testing. 12 volt power outlet right here as well. And nice large lounge seat seats on this one. You've got storage underneath these. We've got the low maintenance vinyl flooring makes that a breeze to keep clean. You can just hose that out get your little soft bristled scrub brush to clean any stains. Uh, we've got the L-shaped uh, rear layout and this is what we call pop-up changing room compatible and that means that this compartment right here lift up and your battery is stored under there but anybody that wants to have a changing room on the pontoon boat possibly put a porta potty in there as well there's plenty of room basically you've got a you're going to have this uh, door right here uh, you've got some items just stored in there right now one of those is actually the um, storage boot for your bimini top but basically if you do want to change in room the frame would mount right here your frame and canvas and it's going to become mounted with two shocks on it and that can raise up uh, to have a change in room 24 gallon fuel capacity on here we've got a five step swim boarding ladder which is is actually an upgrade that's going to go a little bit deeper than most swim uh, boarding ladders make it a little bit easier for uh, people to get in and out of the water ski tow bar and again that is that yamaha 115 horsepower four stroke outboard motor uh, this has been here on Norris Lake since it was new, so um, it has been in a own fleet. That's why you've got the higher hours, a little bit more wear and tear maybe than the average uh, privately owned boat. Uh, but that is all freshwater time on that uh, four-stroke outboard engine. So now it's about time we're going to start uh, going around, getting a little bit more up close and personal with it. Any wear and tear we're going to call your attention to. Uh, for the most part, your vinyl um, on this one's in good shape. This is a uh, higher quality, uh, thick vinyl, but we do have some of these straps right here uh, to lift these seats are wore out and they're ripped. Uh, now, you, they're still usable. You know, you, all you gotta do is stick your hand down there, you can pull that up. You've got the roto molded plastic seat bases that are not gonna have any wood or, um, and the ability to rot in there. We've got a few burn marks and some stains on these seats. So those right there all appear to be little burn marks. Um, really no major rips and tears uh there's a just i think about two or three in the back that um, i'll work my way to a few more uh, kind of burn marks right in here that's probably the worst one um and a little bit of staining around and throughout these right here well that's not even staining that heavily that came right off with just a fingernail right there we do the same right here yeah, you can already see it's kind of flaking off right there. A little bit of cleaner on there. It's going to be a little bit easier than trying to scrape it all off. Do you have those three entry gates? Um, you're going to want to lift these near your hinge and lift them open. And it's got that little basic door catch right there. You lift them up and you push them back down. Uh, these straps aren't quite wore out yet back here. Um, this one's probably in the best shape of all of them. Those do make it a little bit easier when you can grab that. They've taken the time to put a strap on there so you can kind of leave it up. Um, and it's hinged as well. And I always like having the hinge because it usually tends to uh, be a little bit more user friendly and able to get things in and out a little bit easier. It's just some dirt down in there. So um, here's basically your um, your wear items on this vinyl. You've got one here. you got two small ones right here and here. So I do like to call your attention to that. And a few stains on here. Most all this is going to clean up just fine. Work my way over to the X. Oh, okay, and that's a little stain there. From the size of it, it looked like a looked like a little bit of a rip that I missed, but that's just a stain on there. Actually, looks like a little bit of a marker stain or something. So, over here on this uh, port side edge, a little bit of a mark right here on that uh, section of vinyl. And. Canvas on the Bimini top looks to be in good shape on this one. Um, 24 gallon fuel capacity. I'm not sure if I mentioned that yet or not. Uh, Bimini frames all also appear to be in good shape. Uh, and then we do have kind of your typical wear and tear around the exterior in this one. 
Um, you've got kind of a lot of staining on here. This is basically just water stains. Uh, this is all aluminum right here. This is aluminum fencing. Um, that's all cosmetic, but you do have some dents and dings in this, which is very typical of these rental fleet uh, units and some scratches along the way. Uh, because we are in a freshwater environment and it is all aluminum, basically every, everything on the aluminum is uh, essentially just uh, cosmetic. A little bit of uh, wear on this corner uh, plate. And we're going to kind of go all the way up the sides, let you see the scratches and dents and dings in all of the, uh, the your aluminum uh, railing. Go ahead and close this gate so you can see it as well. Okay, and then we, when we get up here near our front pontoon, we got a few um, scratches right in here and here. Same thing right in there. Now, you can uh, spend some time polishing this, and you will be able to remove kind of these hard water stains. A um, few scratches in the pontoons. That's all kind of typical, and again, uh, cosmetic. Now, when we get up here near this port, port side front corner this bumper plate has had a, a good impact and um, has busted that corner plate and then this might not be noticeable but there's also been an impact on this pontoon and basically it's basically just dented up here on this this outer port side corner now all your welds appear to be fine on there and with this being a pontoon, these are not high performance uh, boats either. Uh, with that 115 horsepower, you're probably gonna be running around 20 miles an hour, give, it, give or take uh, maybe two miles an hour. So even, even that um, pontoon kind of den in there, it's really not gonna affect you much on a performance standpoint. Kind of showing you basically the comparison up here on this starboard side corner and then also showing you kind of the marks on that corner plate. Of course those corner plates are there to uh, to really absorb that impact so you're not uh, denting up this uh, this decking and so it's kind of doing its job in a sense and we do have some dents up here on this on this corner panel up here you can kind of see maybe at the right angles you can kind of see we've got some dents and dings in there and some scratches. All right, now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to head down starboard side. Let you see all the all there is to see on this. So we do try to represent these as accurately as possible. Now there currently are a handful of available slips for this one that are available right now. Um, now there's no guarantee on how long the, how long those will be available, but if you are in the market and you're wanting a place to keep it here on Norris Lake, um, feel free to reach out to us for a limited time. There will be transferable slips uh, for these Rome Fleet pontoons. And of course, if you're looking to take it somewhere else, maybe outside the area, uh, maybe you're still in East Tennessee, but uh, don't really need a trailer. You just need to get it from point A to point B. Feel free to reach out to us at the website. We do have uh, local transport options. And if you're farther away, we can put you in touch with some um, nationwide transport options as well. So, all right, pretty much worked our way back from one. From, started at that um, port side rear corner, finishing up here on the starboard side rear corner. Getting that five step swim board and ladder is kind of an upgrade. Ski tow bar. And then, of course, that Yamaha. Four stroke outboard, there's a little bit of wear around that engine cowling. Back over here on the boat. I'll let you see it kind of up close and personal as well. And it's usually about the time we start to remind you again. Any questions, any interest, want to submit an offer, come see it in person. You're gonna to want to uh, do all that uh, by contacting us directly, not through the YouTube comment page. And again, that website address is gonna be uh, linked down in the written description for your convenience to take you right to this page. Uh, again, this is the 2018 Sweetwater 2386 Rental Fleet Pontoon number three. And then of course, as usual, the yournewboat.com logo that's popping up in the top right hand corner of the screen as this video tour starts to wrap up. That is just a shortcut to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you haven't already, that is a great way to get notified of any new listings that come available in our area. 
kind of the fun thing about what we do is we never know what we're going to be listing uh, next. Uh, could be a houseboat, floating cabin, pontoon, tritune, wakeboard, surf boat, bow rider, or runabout. Sometimes jet skis. Sometimes you get lifts and uh, trailers. So anybody that's in the market in our area, or you just like killing your killing time and looking at boat videos while you're at work. Either way, we're always happy to have you as a subscriber. And I thank you again for joining us on this one today. Feel free to contact us through our website with any questions. Again, the 2018 Sweetwater. 2386 rental fleet pontoon boat number three for sale. Thank you again for joining us.